I knew growing up I had a lot of God-given athletic ability and I and I wanted to use it. Let's go, yo! John Madsen began his college career as a walk-on that had never played football. When he was done, he became a Fiesta Bowl champion and an NFL prospect, thanks to the coaching of Urban Meyer. We all have the utmost respect for the guy. He, he led us one of the greatest seasons ever, and uh, though 14, um, one of the best times of my life, really. But in 2005, John went through one of the worst years of his life. During his senior year, he was leading the team in receiving until a game against New Mexico when he suffered a horrific leg injury, a bad break that many thought would end his career. Um, it was a bad break, you know. I, as, soon as, as soon as it happened on the field, I knew it was bad. Immediately, I was looking at a timetable, asking them how long they thought it was going to take for it to heal, and none of them was really giving me any answers because they knew, they knew it was pretty bad. The injury forced Madsen to miss the NFL combine. Without the chance to impress NFL scouts, his dream of getting drafted was gone. From that point, it was like, you're not going to get drafted. You're just going to have to go in and try to make the team as a free agent, stuff like that. And uh, it was kind of like walking on. I walked on at the University of Utah, and I kind of had to go on the same attitude. He took that walk-on attitude to Oakland. And against all odds, Madsen survived training camp and made the Raiders opening day roster. We had eight tight ends. I was the last guy getting any reps, and I was like, oh, I'm done. You know, it's, this is probably going to be over. A few injuries here and there, and I started catching the ball and doing some things, and it, it all worked out. Take the lead and throw to Manson. Touchdown. John was moved from wide receiver to tight end. And by midseason, the former walk-on became an NFL starter. Nicely done to Josh Matson, the rookie free agent out of Utah. Nice but his success was bittersweet. It was like a dream come true that I was playing for the Raiders, and I got to—I was thankful that I got to suit up every game and go out there and play, and it was unbelievable. At the same time, you'd look around the locker room, and it was just a—it was a mess as far as losing every every game. Two and fourteen season, everybody was upset. This fall, after the catch was made by John Madsen, he hopes to make an even bigger impact under a new head coach as the Raiders try to turn things around. You hear people saying you can't do things and you're not going to make it. If you make it, you're not going to play. And every day you don't want to practice, you kind of have that in the back of your mind. You go out there and try to prove everybody wrong. You can say what you have to say. Cause my mind's made up anyway. I'm taking the high road, going above you. This is the last time that I'm going to trust you.